If God has called you, don't listen to whatever anybody is saying. If you are passing through a trial, please continue to endure. One day God will remember you. Do you know it is possible for every church to every year organize a Christmas party for free? After collecting people's tithes and offering from January 1 to December. And you cannot say, okay, for Christmas and New Year, everybody come to the church or give them money or food stuff to cook in their houses. Be you an armed robber, be you a pastor, be you a teacher, be you a governor, be you a minister, be you a general overseer as you're watching me now, be you the president, be you whatsoever. If you lack those two qualities, you are, 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 you are finished. I am not even a religious person. And that's why I come to this belief that there are two types of people in this world. Mm. Only two types. Not Christians and Muslims. Not white and black. There are just two types of people in this world. Good people and bad, and bad people. people. Today, a lot of Christians are hungry and they are naked. And their pastors are laughing. And if you need a sister from that pastor, they'll say, go and bring the record of his tithe. How much tithe has he paid? If you like, go to a church Monday, Tuesday, all through the week. That is not the interest of God. Somebody will sleep at home and make heaven before you. Because the heart of that person is directly connected to God. What will be your joy? What is the joy of a man to be the, the general overseer of the largest number of people in hellfire? What will be the joy that you pastor people to hellfire? Mm. The world has become so complex Diabolical. that you have to be very careful. Even when you go to parties, even when you go to visit, even when you visit a friend, people have become so desperate that they can use anything. If you switch up the fire now for the next one minute, it might still be rolling. Yes. That is the case of a lot of general overseers now. They have been switched off by God, but they are still rolling. And people don't know that there's no longer current. Mm. Looking at a particular place inside the movie mm -hmm. now, now, now. Mm -hmm. uh, this Bishop Bart, who ended up going to hell. Yes. I saw where he was saying something to the new convert who wanted mm -hmm. to do the job of God. Mm -hmm. And he said, the woman was saying, it's not about money, it's about the message of salvation. He said, yes. no, that there are 10 uh, people that came for Jesus, uh, the, the, the bride, mm -hmm. the bridegroom, 10 of them. Mm -hmm. That five were wise, and Veg five were wise. Mm. Uh, uh, the, the ten virgins that mm. came for the mm. bride. Mm. That when they were waiting for the bridegroom, the five that were not wise, mm. the alarm got dry. Mm. That those that were wise, they went to buy more oil. They, they had more oil, sorry. Mm. And as those oil is big school that they have to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Private jet they have it's to have. The oil. Sheep, the extra have, oil. Extra the extra oil. oil. Yeah, extra mm. oil. That is the private jet. And the sheep and everything. But do you know that's the message that people are getting from the church now? Yeah, that they believe that with money that the Christians are controlling. I, I, it was even also saying. I I, I saw know. someone that said he started attending a church and under three weeks mm. he became a millionaire. Yes. And I said to God be the glory. Yes. For that gracious blessing that God has given unto you. Mm. But what is your Christian life like? Ah, yes. he said, I must confess. Oh, I'm now more or less like a nominal Christian. Mm. And there is nobody to tell you that you have gone astray. Mm. There is nobody to call your attention back that you have missed it. But all you are putting your interest and your attention on now is after joining the church, you have become a multimillionaire. Mm. Now concerning the issue of that sister, there are people that God has called. A lot of people, even so many of these so-called generals, they were originally called. But somewhere along the line, they missed it. Mm. And today God is still calling some people. But do you know the first assignment of the devil? Mm is to distract you. Distraction. It's to totally distract you. That distraction can come in form of a sickness. 
the distraction can come in form of abject poverty. Mm. Mm. That because you have nothing to eat, you have nothing to feed on, nothing to take care of your children. No grand, not, no nothing. Grand. And yet no there is food. a pastor beside you who God has not called and is doing well. And yeah. you need to go and tap his anointing. Where that anointing comes from, you don't know. Polluted and at the, end, at, at the end of the day, you'll be polluted. Because somebody said he went to a church and since the time they climbed the altar, he started fornicating. Uh -uh. Yeah. It, if you know what happens in the church, oh you see, the, year, the 25 years of experience that God gave me in the church ministry. Do you know when my company, Damsa Combination, was having some challenges? Because I used to bring all the big men of God, name them all the great men of God on that program, Church Diary. Yes. A man of God called me that. Damsa, you are popular now. Everybody knows you. He said, I'll give you a flower. Go and plant this flower in your house. I said, is it to beautify? He said, don't worry. After the flower begins to germinate, you will see what will happen to your finance. And do you know there are some unscrupulous individuals that will fall to that trap? Mm. A lot of big men of God are falling to that trap. They take things cheap, that are not cheap significant, trap. cheap trap, material that are not sig significant to the things of heaven, just because they want to bounce back. Mm. And at the end of the day, before they find that, they bounce inside the gutter. They bounce inside the gutter and find themselves in hell, mm. under the bondage of devil. That is why, at this level, we have to tell ourselves the truth. If God has called you, don't listen to whatever anybody is saying. If you are passing through a trial, please continue to endure. One day God will remember you. Because there are people that their faith has become so weak. And they are ready to do anything to make money. Yeah. Remember that your pastor that is doing those things, that is outside the doctrine of God, he will pay for it. All the money that they are making now, they are buying, doing this, building the biggest house in the world. They will pay for it. What happens after that? If you live beyond a hundred years, you are just lucky. But eternity, without limit, no end. It might just imagine it. So what does it profit you? That you made this word, everybody hears about your name, everybody knows about you. And God is weeping because of you. That his only begotten son died on the cross of Calvary because of you. And now you are wasting that blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. So if you really want to serve God, don't expect to be too rich. I went through hell. I went through hell the very day God gave me that assignment. I'm not even a pastor. I don't run a church. But I've gone through hell. The devil has done everything to frustrate me. Before we even go there, uh, there was another one that came to my mind now. People are going to, okay, look at that church. They call MFM now on Lagos, if I don't express me. People go there to, maybe to pray. And you say the mattress is 500 naira, or the room service is so so amount. And by the time you are going, the next time they say they've increased it by 200 percent, as if they are increasing petrol, they are removing subsidy. Mm. I mean, these are people that are in bondage. My brother, I don't go too far. It, it happened to me. Oh, you mean it happened to you, sir? It actually happened to me My too. My Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, if anybody close to Pastor Lukoya is watching. I am not a critic. You mean the DK Lukoya said the doctor? Yes, Doctor DK Lukoya. Is a man there are people around him we are not criticizing but our joy will be that when we get to heaven we will see you we will see your members a lot of things are going on around so many of these men of god that they are not even aware of but that will not be an excuse when they get to heaven on this particular occasion i i went there 20 years or more ago it was such a wonderful experience. Mm. I think I paid a small amount of money and I said, this is very good. And I was even telling them, if you want to pay your tithe, please go and pay your tithe to Mountain of Fire. I like what they are doing. Mm. You get the deliverance, you do everything. But all of a sudden, there was a particular time I needed to go there and I was very broke. And I go there and they said, no, it's no longer for this amount. It's no longer, I, I, I now sat down. I ruminated about what is going on here. Within a very short period of time, this thing has escalated from this price to another price. Like, what like, are like which price? Well, is well, well, yeah, it was from like 200 to 800 naira yeah. per night. Mm -hmm. Just one small foam that would just spread on the floor like that. You understand? I don't know if the general of the is aware of this, but if you are not aware, this is an avenue for you to be aware. I am the type that will come out and measure your name and tell the truth. Because I know God has sent me this. If it is an error, the law will help you to correct that error. The issue of money, merchandising the church has become an issue. I mean, uh, these churches have the ability to make people come there for free. Give them money for food for free. Do you know it is possible for every church to every year organize a Christmas party for free? After collecting people's tithes and offering from January 1 to December. 
And you cannot say, okay, for Christmas and New Year, everybody come to the church or give them money or food stuff to cook in their houses. But yet they will still be calling During for the more corona offering. era, they couldn't even do it, sir. No, when American churches, London churches were giving people it's, food. It's unfortunate. It's, un it's unfortunate. My, my Matthew Ashimolo here was begging people to please pay their tithe online, even as they are sitting in the house without making money. Do you know what scripture? Redebo also put out a portal that please, so just give us the money anyhow, anyhow. Do you know one of the scriptures I love most in the Bible? I don't know, sir. That scripture is godliness with contentment is great gain. Mm. Any human being, be you a thief, be you an armed robber, be you a pastor, be you a teacher, be you a governor, be you a minister, be you a general of state as you're watching me now, be you the president, be you whatsoever. If you lack those two qualities, you are you are you are you are you are you are, you are, you are, you are finished. Godliness with contentment is great gain. Have you ever seen a man that is so wealthy and decide to kill a cow? And finish that cow at once. I know we will Have you ever seen a man that is so hungry that say, ah, just buy a bag of rice and I, I must finish everything? It's all lies. Yes, yes, Let me tell you one secret. Yes, sir. There is no food that has taste beyond the tongue. No food that has taste beyond the tongue. No matter how delicious that food is, there is no meal. No meal, no matter who cooked that meal, no matter what material you put there, it does not have any taste outside the tongue. Once you swallow it, it becomes a waste material. Mm. That is exactly what life is just about. The majority of this because of greed. I want to be this, I want to be that. My fellow pastor has to jeep. I have only one. I need one more so I can rub shoulders with him. Do you know what God has called you into? Do you know the level? that God expects you to operate. At the right level, if God wants you to become a billionaire, he knows how to do it. Mm. But you do not really need to look at somebody else's fortune to make a standard for yourself. Mm. Because what that person has done to get to that level, you do not even know. And that is the problem of so many pastors today. Mm. Because they want to have one uh, a spiritual father who has three private jets. Somebody told me, that my, my pastor has three private jets and he has told me that every member of this ministry will become richer than him. I said, you are stupid. Mm. And so many Christians no, are like that. Be not he said, he has told us that every of the members we are still going to be richer than him. Who told you that? Mm. If anybody is going to church and you are serving God because of what you are going to get from God, you have made the, the biggest mistake. Mm. The Bible says, if all our hope is just in this world alone, he said, we are more miserable most miserable mm. and god will be an unjust god if mm. all we are laboring for is just in this world god cannot be unjust mm. god can never be unjust that is why he said i wish above all things that you prosper just as your soul prospereth. i wish above all things that you should prosper and be in health just as your soul prospereth. Mm. so the essence of you bring created is to serve God in this world and then return back to God in his kingdom. Somebody died to align you back to God because there was a missing link. And that was why Christ, God sent his only begotten son to down the cross of Calvary. I am not even a religious person. And that's why I come to this belief that there are two types of people in this world. Mm. Only two types. Not Christians and Muslims. Not white and black. There are just two types of people in this world. Good people and bad, bad people. people. The good and the bad. The good people and the bad people. You can be a general overseer and still be a bad person. Mm. And the good people in your church might not be those people that have been there. Uh, he's the choir uh, mistress. This one is the usher leader. Somebody might be in that church that is just looking at you. But he's serving God with all his heart. And maybe the pastor will not see him because we are not manipulating the pastor. The pastor is only interested in those people that are serving. There's a difference between you serving God and serving the church. Mm. There are two different things entirely. And that's why a lot of people in the church today, they are not serving God. They are serving the pastor. They won't do some things except the pastor sees them. Because they want the praise of that pastor. Hmm. Whatsoever you do, you do it for God. We have a group, a group, uh, we call it a help group. What do we do? We just go around. Even out of the little we have, we just go around. It can be some children. We got two children in a public school. One of those children, maybe just three, uh, six years, the, parent, the mother is dead, the father is alive. But do you know these children, at that age, they didn't even have pants to wear. Hmm. And yet, we are in a country where some men of God are buying private jets. Jesus and Christ. people are suffering. Go to under the bridge. 
people with families they can't go back to their villages people with families go to maryland go, go to anywhere there people with, with children sleeping under the bridge and the church cannot organize a committee go around look for people that don't have homes to sleep when god blesses me to that level i made a promise to god just help me i will build a house where people will live for free i've been through the 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 the, the, the trauma of uh, accommodation issue in the past it's one of the worst problem anybody can go through and i told god when you bless me or you raise partners that we can join and together to do this even if it's just one single room just stay there if you don't have an accommodation you be your heart will be so destabilized mm. you cannot raise it i cannot do anything right and some of you go to the church i want to sleep in the church uh, auditorium and they will pursue you some members of uh, some people from the north they came about two years ago those people driven away by boko Haram, and they came to a church they wanted to just pass the night there and the pastor said, no, 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 I don't know you. You people can be very funny, you can get here now. And decide to kill everybody overnight. And when I heard this thing, I shed tears. Where is that love? Where is the love? Maybe that was an opportunity for you to gain the heart of that person to Christ. If you were able to perform that responsibility. That is why Jesus Christ said on the last day, I will tell some people, go away from me. I know you not. You workers of iniquity. He said, when I was hungry, you did not give me food. When I was naked, you did not give me clothes. Today, a lot of Christians are hungry and they are naked. And their pastors are laughing. And if you need a sister from that pastor, they'll say, go and bring the record of his tithe. How much tithe has he paid? You have only paid 4,000 tithe and you want the church to give you 50,000. What profit is that? Where is the love? So the church has actually missed it. And that's why today, God is interested in personal relationship. It's not the church you attend. If you like, go to a church Monday, Tuesday, all through the week. That is not the interest of God. Somebody will sleep at home and make heaven before you. Because the heart of that person is directly connected to God. It's good to go to church. Because the Bible says we should not despise the assemblies of one another. It's good. Wonderful. Sometimes you are down psychologically. You need a brother to lift you up. Sometimes you don't even know the prayer to pray. I just came back from somebody now whose wife has a cancer. And he's so so totally disoriented and i said what has the church done he said not even visit not even one visit not just a single and visit. the wife is dying i left there crying this morning because he needs so no much visit money no church. visit because he has no money not to contribute oh my god and that is happening everywhere how do they get to this level what question what answer will you give to god when you get to heaven <laughs> The man of God that you said that tried to, dis uh, the, the, to distract the attention of that sister. There are a lot of them today. Once they find that you have talent, rather than encouraging her, please serve God very well. Oh, win souls for God. Oh, they want to tie you down in the church. They want to make you the head of ushers. They want to make, some people, you know, people like positions. A lot of people, they love positions. And the pastor will tie them down. And before you know it, their destiny will be wasted because that man will use them until there is nothing left in them to be used anymore. So if you are watching, God is interested in your heart and in your soul. Evangelism and charity. No matter how poor you are, somebody needs your assistance. Some of these children, I tell you how much I send to them on a weekly basis, is, is, is small. But I'm happy because that small amount is even able to keep those two souls together. I've never met their father before. I don't, even if I see these children, I don't even recognize them. But I know on the last day, when I get to heaven, it will be one of the things that God will write down. No, look at your, your, your organization. Look at all the men of God you are interviewing. You are not collecting money from them. You are rebranding journalism. I'm a journalist, and I know what it entails. It's always brown envelope. But this is not what you are doing. Men of God are coming. Somebody said he has been, he has been embalmed for a long time until when you interviewed him. And today he's being called all over the world. I thank God for that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank God for that. It's a good testimony. Mm. But somebody might be looking at you ah, as a presenter. No, my brother, you are a minister of God. God bless you, sir. That a lot of people are watching this channel. You might not even understand. Ah, he's abusing men of God. No, that is not the issue. We are trying to correct in love. My joy will be when I get to heaven. Let me see all these big generals. Because the mistake of one major general can pull down millions of souls because they have been attached to death. Mm. That was what I asked you. If somebody like Baba boy should come and say, I ah, don't worry about fornication, he continue. People will do it. But thank God for Baba. 
So, Baba, as a person, we are all your children. In Dobale, we prostrate before you. Baba is a major, major you know, pillar in the body of Christ. You mean the Baba Deboye? Bishop Oye Depo, Baba Deboye, all the cook, Baba Kumuyi. Make sure they, all the great men of God, that when they voice out, people will listen to them. If Baba should say, okay, for one, one day, everybody coming to Holy Ghost Congress, we are not talking about any other thing, but just the kingdom of God. We are not even praying for any other thing. We pray for souls. Thank God he said he's doing it now. And I appreciate that. I read it on the internet yesterday. That he needed just 100,000, uh, no, 10,000. And at the end of the day, about 200,000 there about volunteer. Thank God for that. Praying for Nigeria. As we are praying for Nigeria, let us pray for the body of Christ. The body of, of Christ is under siege. I wonder what will happen in the next couple of years from now. If what we are seeing in the church today is going on, I mean, what will happen? An apostle sleeping with ladies in everywhere France, in Canada, in London, even up to raping them, sleeping with an actress, buying cars for actresses, using the money. For do you the know? Church. Do you know one good thing about God? Is a God of grace. A, an apostle with bad head and all that. You know? is, a, is a God of grace. If you are listening, either you are the one they are talking about or not, or anybody close to him is watching. There's always a period of He's grace. He's always monitoring himself. There's always a period of grace. And I thank God the grace of God does not expire. Every day I pray for every one of them. It is not easy to be at the top there. But some of them, they take the grace of God for granted. What will God ask you? Okay, uh, Mr. Lagbaja or Bishop Sal Lagbaja, how many members do you have in the world? I say, ah, my ministry had about 10 million members. And the angel with the book of life opens that book of life. Say, okay. I can see only three out of that 10 million in heaven. What will be your joy? What is the joy of a man to be the, the general of the largest number of people in hellfire? What will be the joy that you pastor people to hellfire? Just live and direct to hellfire. And there is someone else that has just 20 members and you are complaining. Your church is not growing. Your ministry is not moving. And eventually you die. And the angel calls the, 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 the book of life and opens the book of life. How many members did he have? Ah, I have just only 20. Okay, according to the record of heaven, 13 out of those 20 made heaven. The Bible said the heaven rejoiced over the life of the soul. Just one person. It does not matter the number of people in your church. Those are the number that you can manage. Even the, the smaller a church is, the better. When I was complaining about the series of people that have been made pastor in a very popular ministry in Nigeria now. No, that's redeemed Christians it's the, God. It, You know, it's it, it bothers me. Church. Church. One of those pastors scattered my family and I scattered my marriage. Hmm. One of the pastors, and when I remember, when I re reported to the other pastors, they ganged up to, to, to back are, him up. They were laughing at you, sir. They were laughing at me. That a pastor snatched the wife of someone that is not even a member and you are happy. Hmm. And I said, I will go and see the general pastor. They say, you, you can't get there. What will I do? Mm -hmm. I said, let me tell you one thing. I serve a God that is greater than the Baba Deboye. I, will, I have reported your case to God. Mm -hmm. He might even be the one watching now. It's a pastor. Sleeping with people's wives everywhere and all that. The, the case is even small in it's, Nigeria. It's, 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 it's so rampant. In London. No, no, London it's so rampant. In fact, the sister that spoke to me from London that the program can sign to her life at the MFM church said one of the pastors in the MFM church even told her that he can give us plans. She didn't have children. That he will sleep with her and God will now bless her with a child. We are talking about how many uh, years ago? Just yesterday evening, this case came up. A woman, a woman called a friend of mine. She has been married for about 15 years. Mm. No issues. And what she reported to their friends uh, that she met a pastor. And the pastor said when he put anointing oil on his manhood and sleep with her, that if she goes back to the husband, as soon as the husband sleeps with her, she'll become... I'm talking about yesterday. Jesus. I know. Yesterday. So he has to put oil on his manhood and put it inside her cons. That is the only way that then, the... the, 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 the she, after lubricating the cons, then the husband will now... He said all the, all the dead, oh. all the dead spam will come and back alive Jesus again. Christ, my Lord Jesus And Christ. you know women are gullible sometimes. Hey. You mean you are watching me. Oh. There is no problem that is too much for God to solve. If you allow a man of God to manipulate you and mess up your life, mess up your marriage, you will be accountable when you get to heaven. That's why I was so ever challenged. I have my own challenge. I cry too. I have my own challenge, but that will not take me away from the love of God. I know the reality. And we need to make people realize that God is no man and man is not God.
God is no man, man is no God. Before we round up, the issue of Vodou money, Vodou economy has come into the church. Mm. I mean, look at the Apostle Suleiman and say it's going to be feeding people, they're going to be eating every day, he's going to be spending 24 million per month, killing three cows for revival in Auchi. People will just be coming to eat. And people are crying because I learned that, I mean, I don't know, maybe the testimony was shared from your side that you got, is it? 10 million or 20 million from someone and you didn't even know how you spent yes, that money. Yes, yes, it's true. So, so, a, so a client of mine, yeah, and so I couldn't know what thing. And, and the money they don't want to give you by check, they have to give you in bags. Even when they were paying 5 million, it will be in cash. In cash? It will be in cash. So can you give and give yourself just one week. You will not know what you did with that money. With that 10 one. million. And I find I was asking, do you know, later on, I was due by 419. Hmm. And the source of that, Thing came from that money I collected as well. Hmm, from the 10 million naira. The, cash. the same pastor appeared to me a year later. That same pastor of one of the fastest growing churches on on on, on, on Papa Abapa Expressway there. And I know they said they are, they are choosing themselves. You see, a lot of things are going on. May God have mercy on everyone. So of they us. say they can't pay it with check. They have to give him bags. Oh my God. You see, it's a it's, it's a big problem that has to be you know attended to in the church. It's everywhere. You will see, you see men of God against the ethics of Matthew 6, verse 1 to 4. They pack the money. See, they are giving an actor that is sick. They pack the money in bundles and the, cam the camera will be there. That, that man of God that said he wants to be feeding how many people per day? He said he wants to be feeding thousands. That he wants to spend 24 million every month. Pray that account. your people will not be among those eating the food so that they will not eat their future. Amen. In the process of just trying to satisfy themselves for just one day. Mm. The world has become so complex Diabolical. that you have to be very careful. Even when you go to parties, even when you go to visit, even when you visit a friend, people have become so desperate that they can use anything to achieve whatever they want to achieve. They can use anything. Men of God will sit on the glory of their members. Just like that, conveniently. Fellow, fellow ministers will sit on the glory of their fellow ministers just to ensure that they blow up. What is happening? May God help the church. Amen. God really help the church. Amen. Amen. Taking the last question now, because we have to bring you back to mm. talk about some other things. When you look at that, your film, Before the Deadline, mm. you saw that Bishop Bath, before he died, he was shaking on the bed mm. because of the... Ugo, I, he made some confessions. He made some confessions that the private jet he has, that is handing over, he has given the envelope to his driver to give it to Bishop Ben. And he also have uh, children outside his marriage. Uh, they have one child in Spain, one in, uh, in Italy, that these are two, his wife is now aware, that all the real estate, please help me to handle it. Then when he now died, they now show him in, in hell when he was born. In. And the man that's supposed to be his mentor came with the angel mm. and was begging them, take me out of here, take me out of here. They now say, this is where your work leads you to. Mm. This is the destination of your work. Mm. That this is too late. Do you know in that film, he, he was complaining that all the private jet I bought, I was using for the work of God. And I was traveling all around. I was traveling all over the, 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 the world. Bishop Ben was even reporting to that one. Mm. The, the wife la, uh, dreamed that his car ran into fire. Yes. So he quickly and that was, that was why he, he was able to he retrace, retrace, retrace his step back and go back to God. That means you can retrace your step. Mm. No matter how far you have gone, insane. No matter how much you have derailed. Do you know what is happening in the church today? It's just, do you know what they call the angle of deviation in physics? Angle of deviation. Just a little difference. Mm. A little deviation from one slight line. But one thing about the angle of deviation is that the farther it goes, the wider it's becoming. Mm. The farther it goes, the wider it's becoming. That is exactly what is happening. We started from the, it does not matter gospel. Once, uh, once born again, forever born again. Hmm. Once this and all that now. Today, people have now become, they may seem to become so, so romanceable, so fantastic that people are, they are swelling, they are, they are swimming in sin. Because one, the, pre the preaching, the message of their pastor has given them that notion that, look, well, this one does not matter. And but before you know it, we started with this uh, evangelism stuff. But before we knew, we came down to the issue of uh, prosperity preaching. You understand? Today, prosperity has destroyed the church. Mm. Everybody talks about money and they don't care how you make it. Mm. Yahoo can go to the church today and do you know, testimonies, spread money on the floor, and everybody is happy. A woman whose child contested for a chairmanship uh, position in a local government where people were killed came back to the church to give testimony mm. because the, the, the son won. Mm. But somebody gave back to those lives that were lost. 
You see, we need to make sure that our priorities place right. The church has missed it, and that is why we are going through what we are going Advice through. Advice from Oluogbo that uh, contested in Jebusa. A lot of pastors Somebody are boning now. Somebody the, the guy, hmm. and the person started jacking on the floor. Uh, yes. He used the guy for <laughs> ritual. Yet he went to give testimony in the church that he won the election. Hmm. You see, it, 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 it's happening everywhere, and uh, that is why I said we have to put our faith and trust in God, mm. not in your general overseer. Mm. That is the norms now. Papa said, my daddy in the law said, it does not matter what God says anymore. Daddy Gio said. Daddy Gio said, Daddy Gio. Daddy Gio is a human being. There's every tendency that he can miss it on sometimes. That's why I say, every day I pray for all the general overseers. Do you know, if somebody like Papa Debo, with all the millions now, if somebody like Koye Debo, with all the millions of members, if somebody like Olukoya, with all the millions of members, what if he miss heaven, what will happen? What will be the joy? What will be the success? Because a lot of things are happening in the body of Christ that requires your attention. And this attention is not being given. It is not about your denomination. It's about the body of Christ. You are not the general overseer of a church because you want to be, but God wants you to be. But there's a larger body of Christ that needs attention. A lot of things need revival. There must be revival. God is raising up a new set of army, a new set of truth that God is going to use to preach the true gospel that will take people to the kingdom of God. And that's why we are here today. That If you are watching me, you might be a sinner today, but God is waiting for you. He will just capture you and clean you up. Forget about whatever anybody says about you. You might be a prostitute today. As Jane is a prostitute in that film, yes. but eventually she comes back to become a major pillar in the body of Christ. Exactly. Show her how they chase generals out of the front room. Just chase them and, and place her there. Yeah, place so them. most of is when you, if you look at this fan, if you switch up the fan now for the next one minute, it might still be rolling. Yes. That is the case of a lot of general overseers now. They have been switched up by God, but they are still rolling. And people don't know that there's no longer current. Mm. People don't know that God is no longer there. It's just the glory that God wants to glorify his name. That's why they say prayers and there will be answers, there will be testimonies. But the presence of God is no longer there. God is not interested in using people with no name, people with no face. You are an ordinary person and you are watching. God is waiting for you. You can't be too far from God. You are the set of people that God is going to use in this end time. On the last one, sir, a lot of want to know how they are going to get the film. And uh, they said this film is inspiring and uh, uh, it's something that a lot of Christians need to watch, no matter how little. Yes. But then how do they get it? And uh, how After, they do you know it took me 13 years to achieve that film? 13 years? 13 years. The very day God gave me that assignment, trouble started. Everywhere affected me, affected my home, affected my marriage, affected my business. I lost virtually everything. It got to a state that became so low I could reach up and touch bottom. But God was always there telling me, I am backing you up. So eventually when the film came out, right from the studio, we had testimonies. Even when the film was being edited, we had testimony of men of God that just, ah, see, eh? This is true. This is true. So people have been calling. Those that have been able to watch, they have been calling, giving testimony. It's not, a, it's not the kind of film that you watch and laugh. No. If a minister of God in drama ministers and you finish watching and you are laughing, they have not ministered anything to you. Because the reality of grand does not come for laughter. And that's why we decided to place that film on YouTube, on the, on the, on the YouTube uh, uh, channel, uh, Witness Kempol Obieke. That's my executive producer. Witness Kempo Lubieke himself, by God's grace, will still be on this channel one day. He's a man that God has sent out to sanitize the church, to depopulate hell and to populate heaven. So he found out that, look, this calling, this calling seems to be so similar. And he's, he's my father in the Lord. And I thank God what God has been using him to do. So that theme is on that page, Witness Kempo Lubieke. And good enough, it has even been broken down. We have the full-fledged film. And then we have the broken down one into skits that we eventually try to stop attending church. The church is under siege. Mm. They are all on that on that particular channel. YouTube, Witness, Kempol, OBK. Anybody can go there. But very soon we are coming out with one that is titled Darkness in the Light. And we are watching from anywhere in the world, you can be part of this mission. Everybody will be important. Everybody will be needed. Not just in terms of finance, but in terms of prayers. And because we are fighting a battle that we cannot handle alone. Mm. We need your help in praying for us. Because when you attack the kingdom of darkness, they are never happy and they will not celebrate you. So we need you to help us to make this to become a reality. 
darkness in the light. That is what is happening today in the church. Where you see Oboni becoming pastor. No, 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 no salvation story. One day he's a herbalist, the next day he's a, he's, a, he's a minister in the church. And that is happening. And souls are being destroyed. So we need you people to pray for us, help every way that you can, and to ensure that when we get to heaven, we will not just walk into heaven alone. We will pack a lot of people along with us. And the Lord will help you as to do that. Amen. Amen. I want to thank that's a beautiful, wonderful, insightful encounter with uh, uh, producer. Uh, I love to call him evangelist Damlola King by boom. Uh, the producer of Beyond the Deadline, the movie. Uh, the movie is still there, but for some of us that want to have it sent to you, maybe by WhatsApp or by any other medium, and any of you that want to support the projects of enlightenment through movies and all that, well, you see some contacts there, you can write to it, scrolling in the other videos is still crawling on in this video too. The phone numbers and all the that will phone, be there. The phone numbers are there, mm. so you can reach out no matter how the Spirit of the Lord will direct, the Spirit of the Lord will direct with wisdom for profit and all that. The movie, there's a bigger one they are still cooking that is going to say more about the church and the, 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 the ingredient of faith that we need to identify the true church. So that at the end of the day, a lot of Christians can find the path to salvation, which will lead them to the right heaven, not the bad heaven or hellfire. We want to thank you till the next time we bring him. We want you to keep sharing truth, share the truth, let the truth speak, and God will bless you. Thank you. Goodbye. The word in our hands. The power in our hands. We control the world. We have the money, we have the women, we have the fame. How far have you <laughs> Who else can be more desirable? Than me. I have my agents everywhere. Senses everywhere. And the churches, married, singles, pastors and members, members and members, everywhere, especially in the churches, pastors' wives and members. Even the choirs and the pastors and the members and members and elders. <laughs> they call it fun. <laughs> Surely I have more converts than anyone. <laughs> I send my agents to possess them. See divorce everywhere. Adultery is as cheap as water. Men and women who seek for quick money use sex as feeder. I come to them in various forms tall, slim, fat, fair, dark. <laughs> And they can't resist me. <laughs> My cabinet is filled with various trophies of glory from various men around the world. <laughs> it amazes you, my Lord. There is so much emphasis on belief. The global economic meltdown has taken a toll on people. But realistically, my lord, these men are walking corpses. <laughs> Happily enough, they don't seek help where they can find it. They come to us and I give them solutions that brings no problems for them to come up for more solutions. 
to us, my lord. So they keep coming back to us. Even the pastor of the churches, my lord. <laughs> An abortion? Colossus, my lord. <laughs> Less than a tenth of pregnancies are being retained because the fertile youths and teenagers flush them out back to heaven. Especially the glorious ones. <laughs> My pretty, very good and excellent delivery. Do more, do more. The time is short. The time for the world is short. Let the holy one lose their senses. Let the married ones see reason to seek pleasure outside. Uh. And let the fire of vengeance sparkles. In the wives cause problem in their homes. <laughs> Let the men move around looking for women, looking for money. Do more. <laughs> <laughs> Do more. <laughs> I am happy that you are here and uh, I'm very sorry that I brought you to this small place. Uh, when you called me that you'll be coming down, so I said, uh, let me just stay back. I was about going out. Sir. Daddy, uh, I'm very happy that you are here. I really appreciate your coming, sir. <laughs> I have tried to reach you, called you severally to come, and uh, you refused to come. Uh, Daddy, no, it's not like that, sir. Just so many traveling, Oklahoma today, New York and South Africa. Oh, I, I just have to meet up with all these uh, uh, conferences and all that. That is, that is why. Um, I have tried to call you severally to come. Yeah. And you refuse. Uh, I'm really sorry. I had to leave what I was doing to come to your house. Because your soul is precious to God, and um, the dream I had about you last time was very shocking. I saw where women were undressing you. Dream. Yes, and um, I had it. Warn him not to lose his. Election because of his erection. Women undressing you, you cannot sleep on the laps of Delilah and wake up at Abraham's vision. Today, many of the ministers, due to what they call success, are living worse than politicians. I don't want you to miss it. You started very well. But the way you are going now is giving a lot of concern. But since you started mingling with all these Broadway preachers <coughs> and ministers, what you are preaching, I even heard that you said you are not called to preach rapture. If you are not called to preach rapture, what are you called to preach? If Jesus Christ say he's coming and you are telling the, your congregation and everywhere you go that you are not called to preach rapture, does it mean you are an antichrist? Now, I learned that what you preach is prosperity, grace, grace, materialism, once saved, forever saved, eternal security. Uh, once you claim that you have accepted Christ, then you can go ahead and live as you like. Grace is license for nonsense. These are the type of things I hear you preach. And as a matter of fact, a few days ago, it was as if the Lord wanted to confirm it for me. I, on the television, I saw you. Really? 
Yeah, yes, I saw you. You see, what you were preaching is this the gospel? Is Christ and his cross at the center? You can do motivational speaking, you can preach prosperity, you can massage the ego of sinners. You you can you can make people full good on top of nothing without eternity. And that is the modern day gospel. Go to the book of First John chapter 2 from verse 15 to 19. Meditate on it very well. The Bible says clearly, do not love the world. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life, all these are not of God. And they are vanities that are vanishing away. Many bishops like you have lost their election because of their erection. Women, wine, wealth, if they don't kill a minister, then he will go a long way with God. What terrified me that pushed me to come is that last night, my wife dreamt where you died. After mine, my wife woke up suddenly and said he had a dream that Bishop Bart died. I said I spoke with him last week. He's doing well, as in health. Nothing is wrong with him. And that means long life. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is interesting. Is that all? Yes, ma. So what do you make out of all that? What is giving me a serious concern is that after meeting the man of God, he told me that I have a call. You have a call? Yeah. That souls are perishing out there, that there's no more time. That is wonderful. If you have a call, then that is beautifully good. We have so many people in the kingdom who we are not called. Sometimes they will just, their pastors call them. Hmm. Sometimes they call themselves as workers and they just, we have so many of them who are already holding very big positions. Really? Yes. It's, it's not everybody you see in the people that has been called. Concerning the revelation I had, I saw a girl, a little girl, telling me that it's coming. I'm confused. Who is calling? So after my explanation to the man of God, he said, I have a call. So if you are called, that is a good news. There's no big deal. So I'm gonna talk to you. I have a couple of my bishop partners, um, Bishop Bad, Bishop Mike, and then a lot of other others. I will walk you up so that they can introduce you and put you through the system. The system? Yes. The, the, the church has a system. There's a process. There's there's a way things work in the kingdom. You don't just come out from the blue and say you are. I don't know. The Bible says that it will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We are building a replica of heaven here on earth. You can see it in the cathedrals. The kingdom has progressed. The kingdom has moved. You know, we are moving far beyond the era of Solomon. You know, where you see the kingdom flourishing in abundance. And you see the, the church growing in mass and quantities, in limbs and in bounds. You see, you see it, you don't need to be told. You see the big cathedrals, you see the, the, the private church, you see the men of God dressed in class, in, in, in caliber. So you, the, the world in the terms of prosperity cannot match the church. The church is moving. So I, I, if you were ready, I would introduce you and uh, so that we can put you in the system. And then you build your church, build, we'll walk you through that and everything will be easy. You know, but is it about raising the church? Is it about starting a church? This little girl keeps saying, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. <laughs> Jesus is coming. That is what they're trying to tell you. It is no news. Okay. It is not a news. Even while the disciples were with Jesus, Jesus told them they will not go around the city before he comes. That is 2,000 years ago. It's coming. Yes, it's coming. It's coming. 
that I, I, I advise you, if you're really cold, the kingdom has progressed. The kingdom has moved. Most of the evangelists are moving to the four squares, and then they move into the building. So we just put you through, you get to collect tithe, make them to pay tithe, make them to pay offering, make them to give their Isaac, make oh, them to give oh, everything they have, so that we can build a kingdom here on earth. Because when you look at everything, then you know that God is already here. Look at the private jets, look at the houses, look at the cars, look at all the good things that God has given to the kingdom. But and showcasing his power, his glory, and his prosperity. We are coming back to the days of Solomon. Hallelujah. You know Solomon in his word. I'm home. Hello, my angel. Mm, my nice angel. Wow. How are you doing? Welcome. I'm doing good. How was today? Fine. Ah, I hope you had a wonderful time at school. Yeah. My baby looks so beautiful today. How was the school today? Well, it was a very hectic day at the office today. I had meetings with two governors today. Mm -hmm. Today alone, I had two other meetings with two federal ministers. Wow. I'm so fucked up. So I need a very cold shower, okay. a very wonderful meal, wow. and a very sound sleep. And I know my wife, you are, you are up to the task. I will. And my angel, you look worried. I hope all is well. A dream? You had a dream? Ma, what is giving me a major concern is about the revelation I had. <laughs> have gone to see pastors, bishops, great men of God. Even a prophetess told me that there is a system I need to follow. And that system is to make money. To be satisfied with everything on it. Hmm. So I'm confused. I need your help. Please help me. My sister, don't let anybody deceive you. Especially this time that we have. We need to be very, very careful. And that is why we must be rooted in the word of God. In, in fact, the Bible told us, he said, those of us that we are standing, we should take heed lest we fall. You see, this end time, even the Bible said it, that there will be so many prophets, evil prophets, doing wonders in the name of Jesus, but they don't know Jesus. Don't follow their trend. Follow the lay down principle that Jesus Christ has given to you. The great mission for you and I is to what? to seek for the lost soul bring them back home save their soul the bible says it that we should first seek the kingdom of god that every other thing shall be added unto us hmm. you see nowadays all these so-called men of god that you are looking at they are seeking after the last one hmm. they are not seeking the kingdom of god first does it mean there's no more time there is no more time my sister there is no more time. Hmm. The kingdom of God is not all about money, oh, my hmm. sister. Mm -hmm. It's all about winning soul, especially this end time. Okay. Let us go outside there and win souls for Christ. The Lord is looking forward to you and I to stand up for the salvation of the others, to go into the world and let them know, don't let us fall victim. Thank Don't let us forbid him. Our Father is still coming. He's coming very soon. Let us prepare for him. The Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord that has called you will help you and will back you up. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Oh, this party is going to be the bomb. Let me call my friend. Hello, darling. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's talking about my party. Oh, let me call you back, please. 
Hello. Oh, is that the lady from Dubai? Oh, very well then. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I have a list of things I want you to get for me. My costume. Oh, are you telling me that you have Saudi gold? Really? Oh, this is getting interesting. What about my makeup? See, let me just explain what I want. I want this party to be the talk of the town. You know, I had it great last year. But this year, you know, I want something different. Something really classy. <laughs> you should understand now. My husband has all the money. He's a bishop. Okay. No problem. Oh, well, I have about, um, say, uh, 50 million naira to spend on that. Just send me your detail. Alright. I'll transfer the money immediately. I'll credit your account immediately. Yeah. Thank you. If you like the fire, let it be burning. The people love Jesus. Like a light shine, go to the highway and go to the low way. Tell everybody that the Savior is coming. Amazing grace as we dance song. My Savior went and just like me. I was once lost, but now I'm found. I was once blind, but now I see. Accept Him as your personal Lord and Savior. He's knocking on the door of your heart. The Bible says in the book of Revelation chapter 20 verse 15, it says the name of the person who is not found in the book of life. That person will be cast into the lake of fire. How fire is not meant for you, but it's meant for the, it's meant for the devil and his host to come, to come into your life. Cast away the devil. Cast away the things of the world. It's knocking on the door of your heart. It's coming through. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Children preaching, preaching to adults, children. What is the meaning of this? My sister, God bless you. Thank you, sir. You are welcome, and uh, I appreciate you for coming to see me. I've been hearing about your conversion, how you've been moving around. Mm, that's just so glorious. Yes, Pastor. Mm. And uh, they told me, you know, about how you've been moving from village to village to go and evangelize, win more souls for Christ. So when I heard about it, I said, mm, God must have deposited some spiritual powers into you, and I have spiritual energies too. But you need to be mentored, you need to be tutored. And I, I believe I can do that for you. Because ministering around, telling people about Jesus Christ needs money. I want you to show me the way. Going around to minister here and there is good, but you need resources. You cannot trek from one village, to, you cannot trek five miles in that bar, that's too much. Ministry needs money. You need money in ministry. We need money in ministry. See what God has done for me. I have about five of these. It is just grace of God. So that is why I'm going to teach you uh, the, the dynamics of prosperity. It is very, very important. We need money to go around the world to, to, to circulate. Dynamic of prosperity. Of, of, very, very, very important. When you, when you start under me now, I'll teach you the basics and the advanced level. How we can fabricate prophecy. We call it prophetic dynamics. How you can scan somebody like this and you release prophecy. How you can scan somebody like this and let it go. All these things we need to teach you. Sir. Of, of making money in ministry. I'm a new convert. I know. And what I need now is to sell souls. Mm. 
Yes. I've been saving so too. But if what the Bible says, we we'll seek ye first the kingdom of God mm. and his righteousness, and, and all other things shall be added Hallelujah. to you. Hallelujah. That is how we started too. And that is what you know now. I don't blame you. That is what you know now. Let me take you back to that Matthew 25. There's the story of 10 virgins. They were all waiting for Jesus Christ, waiting for the bridegroom. But the Bible said that bridegroom tarry mm -hmm. and their lamp went off. And five of them were wise, five were foolish. The wise one, Bible says that they had extra oil. You see, this is the principle of abundance. He was telling us about extra anointing, extra oil, mm -hmm. extra grace. The extra oil is the houses. Uh, five of these. The extra oil is the is, is the jeeps, the, the, the our our industries, the money, the billions we have in the account wow. is the private jets I just bought. That is the extra oil. Without extra finances, your ministry will be dragging. That is what I'm telling you. It is achievable. You just need to submit and uh, mm. I will introduce you to other bishops mm. and your life will be transformed. Like look at us. Your life will be transformed. Mm. Sir, it's not all about money. Mm. It's not all about money. I'm going to save souls. Souls. So the ones I'm is it chicken that I've been saving? Mm. The, the thousands of members I have in my church, are they chickens or souls? My sister. Think twice and think about this, all right? I know God is your God, 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 God will be with you. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. What it's all it's just a dream. Just a dream. Yes. I don't think it's just a dream. Well, you don't have to worry. Okay. Please, my car. <laughs> Your car? Yes. Well, my angel. I don't think it's just a dream. I think God is trying to warn you. Again? Yes. Come in, please. Oh, Bishop Ken! Bishop Mike! God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, it's good, so good to see you. How's the family? Oh, thank God. It's been a while. And your family too. We're doing great. Thank God. How's the family? God has been doing great. great. <laughs> you too. Uh -huh. You too. That, Mama, yes, how well. are you? Uh -huh. You're blessed. I can see how good you're taking care of my bishop. <laughs> How's the family? Bishop, Bishop. Um, How's the family? Uh, well, we're doing very well. Wow. How's the ministry? God has been faithful. Oh my God, I thank God for
daughter too had a dream. Hmm. We were just over a matter of dream before you came in now. And Bishop, I must confess to you, I have been very worried. Oh my God. My daughter also had a dream. You mean it? Yes, Bishop. And hmm. what is it about? She says she saw me with an old man in a forest and on a path they were trying to pass. Mm -hmm. I was so uncomfortable with passing that very narrow path that I wanted a better path to follow. All of a sudden, I released my hand from the hand of the old man and I went to a very big road where a very luxurious car picked me up. But what shocked me most about the dream, she said as soon as the car picked me up, the car ran into a very big fire. Oh my God. My wife tried to tell me it's just a dream. Did you just say the car ran into a very big fire? Yes. But now I know God is trying to tell me something. I'm worried. Oh my God. Oh my God. This, this, this dream, I, I, I think this is a message, a warning. A warning message. You know, my, my daughter had a dream and told me... Similar to that? My... But I think he's sending the same message. She told me that in that dream, the Lord appeared to her and said to her, well, we are sent to, 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 to go and win souls. Instead of winning souls, we are going about raising money. All about money, prosperity, sowing of seed. That was all we were talking about, me and my friends. And I was thinking, my friends, who are my friends? Hmm. And I was me and my friends. And the Lord is saying that we should retrace our steps before it is too late. Hmm. And I say, what? You know, I wanted to commonize a dream and take it as a dream of a child. But I since then, I've been troubled. And now look at the kind of dream you say your daughter is having again. I've been so worried about this. And... Um... Bishop, it's high time we told ourselves the truth. I think we have lost the first love. We didn't start like this. I sat down and I gave it a transcendental meditation. Mm. And I think we are missing it. We didn't start like this. But somewhere along the line, we missed it. And I think we need to seek the face of God before it is too late. I will oh see Bishop Bart. Mm. I think you need to. I will see Bishop. I think you need to. Before the end of today. I think you need to. It's very, very important. And I pray that he will listen. My brother, um, this is the reason I had to come around because I've been troubled. I have to come around never knowing that God is sending the same message. Now, can you imagine our kids? Thank you so much for coming. Ah. I really appreciate it. Yeah, Hello, birthday girl. I hope the table is safe. It's very good for you as you just come now because God already loved you. He showed you mercy. I love the way you surrender your life to Christ. And I believe that my father will still be on all you. Please, my sister, just go and don't look back again. Just face Christ. And I know that my father will take you to somewhere. Mm -hmm. That is the way God starts for my life. When I'm going to go to start the ministry, you can go over there to go and win many souls for those people that they have had lots over there. Go there, go and be willing there for Christ. God will show it back to you and God will be with you, my sister. More power, more evil. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not be weary and you will not be tired. And God will fill this dark dream for you. God will support you and will support your ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus, my sister, everything that you lost, you will see that. God will restore it back for you very soon. There is no doubt about my calling, sir. When I started, I started very well. But suddenly, my friends changed. My focus changed. And my target changed. And that message was the last straw that brought the cameras back. I came back to my senses. And I know I have lost the first love. I am no longer the man I used to be. But I think it is very important for me to come back for your counseling. And I 
thank God for what God has used it to do. We, the pastors, are the problem that Jesus has now. Not the devil he defeated 2,000 years ago. Because we're no more preaching his gospel. And we're no more bringing souls to the kingdom. Rather, we are building our own empires. The gospel of prosperity has almost destroyed the church. You're very right, sir. Covetousness, greed, has enveloped the church and handed it over to mammon. The Bible says there is joy in heaven for one soul that is saved. And that passion is no more there. Who we see now as a great minister of God is somebody who has deceived people and built an empire around himself. I thank God for your life. I thank God that Jesus Christ still have plan and purpose for you and that was why you had that message you listened to it and got conviction of the holy ghost i want to counsel you jesus christ called you and i have no doubt about that return back to your first love return back to him take your focus away from all these vain glories and preach content for the faith that was once delivered to the saints and nothing more. Prosperity gospel and the rest of them are packaged. It was shown to me in a revelation, packaged from the kingdom of hell, the kingdom of darkness, to corrupt and pollute the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm. What happens today? People are not transformed. People are not conformed to the image of Christ. Mm. People are backsliding inside the church. There is for meat on the altars. Even pastors themselves are living in sin because the focus has been broken. Mm. The focus is no more heaven. It is time to be Jesus type of preacher. Now, what do I mean by that? Preachers that will flog people, beat people, kick people, mm. push people into heaven just as jesus christ flocked out those people that turned the house of god to den of thieves that is the standard of preachers needed now thank god that today you have a new beginning thank you jesus and i thank god for your soul and i thank god for many people who are going to follow your example to repent because that is our prayer for all the ministers of god the trumpet is about to sound. What account will you give the Lord of your life and of your calling? Focus on the master and he's going to bless you in Jesus name. Thank you very much. My bishop. Just on my way out when your driver called my driver that you slumped and you refused to be taken to the hospital. You don't understand. Understand what, Bishop? And by the way, why are you in your driver's room? Bishop, I don't want to see my possessions again. Oh, I need privacy. You don't want to see your possessions again? What is that supposed to mean? I need privacy. Privacy? <laughs> So how are you feeling now? No feeling any better. Oh, oh, Bishop, I advise you go to the hospital. You are not looking good at all. Bishop, the way I'm feeling, how are you feeling, Bishop? My conscience is condemning me. Condemning you? I was with my spiritual father last week. He advised me. What? It's way too, way too hot. Bishop Mike, I need to confide in you. Confide in me? I have two kids outside my marriage. One in South Africa, one in Spain. 
and uh, my wife doesn't know about this. Oh, and uh, uh, Bishop, Bishop, I'm all ears. Help me to take care of all my possessions. Why are you talking like that? We are not dying, Bishop. The way I'm feeling, you don't understand. This is just a try. You are not dying. Before I forget, Bishop, the revival we had, the returns wasn't 500 million. It was 700 million. Just. I know you will not crucify me for this. Ah. But Bishop, you know what? I will compensate you. I have six billion in private accounts. Six, six billion naira? In private accounts. All for you? Is your wife aware of that? No. Oh. I, I trust you. That's why I'm telling you all this. I've given my driver the whole data to hand over to you. We shall. My private jet and everything. Just take care of all this property. My brothers and my sisters, there's no more time. The Lord wants you and I to go out there to preach the gospel, to save souls before He returns. You can see the, the people that were celebrating, look at them. They're not all here, they all left. We that are many, the Lord wants us to save souls out there. He wants to use you to depopulate and populate heaven. So what are we waiting for? Is, is, there, is there any time anymore? There's no more time. There's no more time. We all know that everything now is going on. The time is finished. The Lord is calling you and I now to move out there. I want us to be serious with God now. Let's do what He asks us to do and leave the rest. Don't be discouraged. Let's work on ourselves. Because it can be here any moment. Even as we are talking now, He can come any moment. There's no more time. The Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Bishop, I, I don't know what to say, but your words are so heavy. You should be strong. I beg of you. Don't worry. You see, God is a merciful God. If we are bound to for the pardon, I believe that. Let us pray, let us pray, Bishop. Let us... Father, in the mighty yeah. name of Jesus Christ, your word says that we shall not die, but live to declare your goodness in the land of the living by the power of the Holy Ghost. I... Bishop. Bishop. Bishop! Awake, unknown soldiers. Awake, unregistered servants. Awake, all ye islands. The master calls for you. Heaven weeps over hirelings, numerous, so many of them moving around in the midst of the ship, but unknown to the owner of the ship. Hirelings, awake, the master seeks thee. Enough of moving around, parading yourself as servant of the Most High when he doesn't know you, you are unknown to him. Many that are called by their belly, called by the people, called by friends, called by the society. Awake, the master calls for you. Having a large number of followers does not translate to being known by the master rob the ship awake the master sits thee the master calls for you to have a turnaround now and come to the master and be recognized and be registered in the kingdom's race Hello? What? Bishop back dead? Oh my God. What a world. A man's life is like a vapor compared to eternity. 
I was with him last week. And I spoke at length with him. And I gave him all the counsel that will save his life. After all these acquisitions, I wish he took the counsel I gave him. We are as he gone to. Where will he spend the eternity? I'm looking for my pastor. I'm looking for my pastor. His message brought me here. He doesn't preach about sin. He doesn't preach about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He just preach about prosperity. How to acquire wealth. How to become wealthy. How to become famous. How to ride private jets. How to build mansions in on earth. Not the mansions in heaven. Oh my God. Oh, his message brought me here. Oh, is this how I'm going to end? Oh, it's a pity. The door is closed already. Closed? The door is closed. Oh, my God. Nick, <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? What did you do? You are here to take me away. Let's go. The pain is too much. Just let us go. Let us go. Let us go. <laughs> let us Son go. of man. This is where you walked from. This is the destination of your time. Son of man. Don't do me like this. I have mega churches. Branches all over the world. I walked. Oh, with regret. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like this. Branches every year. We 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 kept having many many branches, opening branches all over the world. I did all my best. I did for for you. I was winning soul. True. I was winning soul. True. Those were souls, potential souls meant for the kingdom, potential sheep. But indeed, you were raising goats. They were seeking. Seeking to know the Father, truly. But you didn't lead them to the Father. You were raising goats instead of sheep. You didn't show them the Father. You showed them something else, many other things different from the Father. Those people were moving from churches to churches, places of worship to places of worship, in search of the truth. But did you show them the truth? Did you tell them the mind of the Father? No, son of man, no. But you know we need money for ministry. The two private jets that I had, I used it to fly all over the world for ministry. The billions that I have, it was for ministry. I did my ministry. Ministries, or were you ministering the truth to the source of men? No. Just, just, just let us go. Take me away from here. The pain is too much. Take me away from here. Take me away from here. The pain is too much. There is only an entrance door to no exit door. Son of man. How to give me the good chance? This is the destination. People who walked the way you walked were there. Okay, sir. Give me the good chance. I'll fix it. We can fix it. Let's talk about this. We can fix this. To die only once. You are busy. Let's fix this. Let's fix this. Let's fix this. Are you leaving me here? Forever! Beyond the deadline Do not waste your time, give your life Only God can set you free Yeah, 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 yeah Beyond the deadline Do not waste your time, give your life Only God Set you free, free, free. Oh, ooh, oh, 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 yeah. Come on.
Ours. 